Today, everywhere we look around, we see technology. When you are using your mobiles, you are using technology. When you are playing your video games, you are using technology. And when you are watching this video, it is also because of the latest technology. Well, technology is the practical application of knowledge in our everyday lives that leads to a new product or an improvement in the way something works. In the history, the time period in the 18th and 19th century marked by booming factories and new technology was known as the Industrial Revolution. Before the Industrial Revolution, most people in and around the world were engaged in agriculture. The Industrial Revolution, which began in England, was a period in the late 18th and early 19th centuries when the life of ordinary people was changed dramatically forever. It was a time of numerous inventions, so industry developed so fast that society could barely keep up. There were major developments and inventions in agriculture, manufacture and travel that eventually spread throughout the world. Industry and manufacturing that was once all by hand could now be done by machine. It all started with the textile industry and spread to other products. Factories were built and steam-powered machinery increased the manufacture. Towards the middle of the 19th century, steam-powered ships and railways meant progress got faster. The major inventions that took place during this period were James Watt, first reliable steam engine, 1775, Isaac Singer, sewing machine, 1851, Alexander Graham Bell, telephone, 1876, Thomas Edison, light bulb, 1879, Rudolf Diesel, the diesel engine, 1892. Orville and Wilbur Wright, first airplane, 1903. Henry Ford, Model T Ford, assembly line, 1908-1913. The effects of all this rapid change on society were enormous. But not all were happy with the Industrial Revolution. People were afraid that they would lose their jobs and hence protested against the arrival of machines. Well, it is sure that some jobs will be lost, but people understand that new job opportunities will also be created. When India got independent, the farmers in India mostly did farming in the traditional way. The produce depended heavily on the monsoon and cultivated only once a year. They grew like paddy, wheat, vegetables and cotton etc. Plantation of the crops was done by hand at great effort using primitive hoes or ploughs. Generally the farmers produced crops majorly for their personal use only rather than for selling in the market. After independence government started taking steps to boost up the agriculture. New dams were built and irrigation facilities were improved. Now farmers could plant their crops throughout the year. New varieties of hybrid seeds, fertilizers and pesticides are now being provided to the farmers which have increased the production of the crops by leaps and bounds. Use of modern technology in agriculture has helped the farmers to produce more food grains and other goods. The production of food grains like paddy, wheat, cereals and pulses has doubled up in the last four decades. Isn't that wonderful? How has this happened? Let us see. These days farmers use modern agricultural machinery which has drastically reduced the human effort. Because of advanced irrigation facilities, the farmers are no longer dependent on the monsoon. They are cultivating their fields throughout the year and this has increased the employment opportunities. Though some of the workers who used to harvest the crops or pull out the weeds by hands have lost their jobs, but many others have gained from the new jobs created. 
people are required to operate the machines isn't it so if the laborers try and upgrade their skills or knowledge about the modern ways of agriculture they will surely benefit Over the years the farmers have stopped using the animals for plowing the fields tractors and other modern tools have taken place of the animals because of various reasons they are faster more efficient reduce human effort a lot and one more they never get tired children combine harvester or ch is an all in one machine that does the job of harvesting the crop threshing and cleaning the grain from the shaft it is for this reason it is known as combined harvester the cost of combined harvesting of wheat and paddy is around rupees 3000 to 4000 per hectare if done manually it takes around 20 laborers to harvest 1 hectare charging around 150 per day this could vary state wise apart from that there is a cost of rupees 1000 per hectare for threshing also the total cost of harvesting comes almost equal in both the cases but the time saved and the labor shortage issues are solved quite nicely by opting for combined harvesting but there are many benefits of using the ch it reduces crop losses tackles peak time labor shortages saves time and also helps in maintaining the turn around time for the next plantation the other sector that technology has touched is the textile industry the british introduced power loom production in india when mills started making clothes the demand for hand loom weavers went down There was also competition between the mills and small power loom units. In a mill, the production is done at a large scale with the help of thousands of workers, whereas the power loom units operate at a small scale with the help of a few workers only. The mills produced high quality cloth, whereas the power looms produce low or average quality cloth. In power looms, however, a variety of fabrics can be produced such as shirting suiting sari dhoti towels shawls and blankets in 1940 there were only 40000 power looms Now nearly 5 lakh power loom units run with 23 lakh looms in India. More than 60 lakh persons have gotten employment in these units. But the advent of power looms had a negative effect on the hand looms and the traditional weavers. The number of hand looms came down from 33 lakh units in 1988 to 24 lakh units in 2009-10. However, government is doing its best to support the traditional weavers they are tasked to produce the traditional fabric and design and also given subsidies to handle competition from the power looms children there are a lot of advantages of power loom they are faster and produce much more amount of cloth as compared to the hand looms but there are certain disadvantages also The power loom units give very low salary to the workers. Power loom units do not provide health care, pension and other social security provisions. There are no trade unions to negotiate on behalf of the workers. In mills, they still got a fixed salary. All the activities that support agricultural industries and trading activities are called service activities. Transport and communication and other services that we use to support larger industrial activities have also been modernized 
and made faster and better. Tell me children, how did your parents and grandparents communicated with friends and relatives? Through landline telephones, telegram letters and inlands. It was so difficult to communicate with the relatives who were in foreign countries. But how do you communicate now? You have mobile phones, computers, internet, Facebook, Gmail and fax. We contact anyone anywhere in the world in a jiffy. The cost of communication has also come down drastically. Now we do not hesitate to call up our relatives abroad as the rates are no longer steep. Look at the graph of telephone connections. Children, the boom in telephone and mobile technology also came up with its need of new skills. It created new jobs for young people to work in multinational companies producing mobile handsets, telephone booths, mobile sales and repair and recharge shops. So, what do you have to say technology is good or bad? Well, student, that was all for today's class. Let's see you in the next class. Till then, bye-bye.